What's up everybody, Jordan here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing some more products from EDC Beard Co. If you haven't already, check out my previous unboxings and my review of EDC Beard Co. stuff. Definitely recommend this company. Use code JORDAN15 to save 50% on EDC Beard Co.'s beard oils, butters, and balms. And then shout out to Lee for sending me this uh, stuff to check out. Stay tuned for another unboxing featuring some more stuff from EDC Beard Co. coming soon. Yeah, without further ado, let's talk about the uh, pricing, ingredients, and more. Yeah, and starting off with the uh, beard oil, it's $17.99 US. And then beard butter is $19.99, the beard balm is $19.99, and then the beard wash, which is pretty new, is uh, $19.99 as well. And then they have uh, beard wash bar soaps that vary between $4.99 and $6.99, depending on the scent. Yeah, and then as far as the scent profiles go, they'll be unboxing in this video. So this is the uh, spring line, as well as a few others. So rise above this, which is oak moss, dense forest, freshly turned earth, sandalwood, cinnamon shavings, and Tahitian vanilla. Hypnotized is warm spices, vanilla tonka, coconut, jasmine, cedarwood, sandalwood, and amber. Plush is cashmere, Tahitian vanilla, cream, softwoods, and musk. Everlong is, is green apple, Georgia peach, red rose, water lily, white cedar, vetiver, and sandalwood. Piedmont is Cuban tobacco, pet tobacco, tobacco leaf, Granny Smith apple, and Fuji apple. Taproom is bourbon barrel, Chinook hops, Tennessee whiskey, and English pipe tobacco. Tropic Thunder is ripe papaya, mango, pineapple. Red Delicious Apples, Strawberries, Orange, and Sweet Coconut. And then Coffee Orchard is Colombian Coffee, Honeycrisp Apples, Cinnamon, Nutmeg, and Brown Sugar. And then Double Mint is Freshly Picked Peppermint Leaves, Spearmint, and Eucalyptus. And then Lee also sent one of the Pine Tower ones, so it's Balsam and Cypress is the uh, scent profile. And then the ingredients, so starting off with the uh, beard oil, borage oil, hemp seed oil, which is a new ingredient for uh, EDC Beard Co., as well as metal foam seed oil, apricot kernel oil, and then rosehip oils, and then the uh, beard butter has shea butter as well as the uh, carrier oil blend that I just mentioned. And then the beard balm is shea butter, triple filtered organic beeswax, and then again the uh, carrier oil blend from the uh, beard oils. And then the pine tar soap has olive oil, organic palm oil, coconut oil, shea butter, pine tar, cypress essential oils, and then some other essential oils for scent. And then the beard wash it has no alcohol and no parabens, and it's fully unscented, so you can pair it with that. Uh, it's not going to interfere with whatever beard oil uh, scent you decide to use. Next, let's uh, unbox this stuff. All right, here we go. So we got a bunch of stuff. So we got a couple things that I'm gonna be talking about in a future video, so stay tuned for that. We got a really cool sticker. It has like a iridescence to it. That's super dope. So much stuff in here. <laughs> All right, so first we've got Piedmont and then in the oil, as well as Coffee Orchard right there. Then we've got Tap Room right there. And the labels have been uh, updated, so they're a bit more, uh, bit more eye-catching, which has been cool. Always nice to see company companies uh, working working on uh, improving. And then we got Double Mint, and then one that I'll be talking about soon. So stay tuned for that video as well. That'll be in April. And then we got Hypnotize right there. And then Everlong, part of the spring line, rise above this. Plush, you got the new uh, Zero Din Beard Wash. Yeah. That's that right there. So this is a uh, eight ounce bottle. And then got the uh, constrictor tops for some of the, for uh, all the oils, as well as a uh, s'mores lip balm. We got the uh, pine tar balsam cypress uh, soap. Cool, we got everything, awesome. All right, and then next, let's uh, check out all these scents. All right, so here we go, let's get into these scents. We'll start off with the, um, the pine tar soap, just because it's close to my left. Yep, nice and woodsy. Definitely get the uh, balsam. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So pretty good size, not too big, not too small. So that's that. And then the next one here is Coffee Orchard, which again is Colombian coffee, Honeycrisp apple, shaved cinnamon, nutmeg, and then brown sugar. So should be a nice sweet scent. Oh yeah, that's definitely sweet. Yeah, so I get the brown sugar off the top. Yeah, and the coffee as well. Yeah, coffee and then the brown sugar. So everything else kind of mixed in together. I'm definitely excited to see how that fades in over time as, as you use it. All right, and then next we've got Piedmont, which is Cuban tobacco, pipe tobacco, tobacco leaf, Granny Smith apple, and then Fuji apple. So this can be right up my alley. I love, love tobacco scents. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. I definitely get the apple up front, which I wasn't expecting. A little bit of tobacco in the background. Yeah, that's cool. Definitely more uh, apple forward than I was expecting, but that's pretty cool. And then next we got Tropic Thunder, which is ripe papaya, mango, apple, red delicious apple, strawberries, orange, and sweet coconut. This would be great for the uh, for the summer for sure. 
Yep. And I get the uh, the sweetness of it, like the uh, obviously the mango and the pineapple. A little bit of orange up front. Yeah, very cool. And we got tap room, which is bourbon barrel, Chinook hops, Tennessee whiskey, and then English pipe tobacco. Definitely more of a boozy type scent. You definitely get the, uh, the whiskey and the hops. Yeah, that's cool. So I can try all these out. Definitely a whole bunch of unique scents. And then we got Hypnotized, which is also from the uh, spring line. So this is warm spices, vanilla tonka, coconut, jasmine, cedarwood, sandalwood, and amber. Oh, definitely, uh, I'm trying to think of what I get. Yeah, I definitely get the, uh, I'd say the, the jasmine and the coconut. A little bit of sandalwood there. Yeah, it's unique. We should see how that kind of like expands in beard. Um, yeah, it's definitely, uh, if you're into subtle scents, that's definitely not it. But if you like scents that kind of give you a good punch initially, um, this definitely seems like it's going to be uh, going to be one of them for sure. And then next we've got double mint, which is sweet peppermint, spearmint leaves, and eucalyptus. Yep, definitely minty. <laughs> I take it the peppermint initially. Eucalyptus is kind of like in the background. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I like mint mixed into other stuff, so I'm just to see how this uh, this one goes in beard. There you go. So then next we've got Rise Above This, which is also from the uh, spring line. This is oak moss, dense forest, freshly turned earth, sandalwood, uh, cinnamon shavings, and then Asian vanilla. Yeah, definitely an earthy scent for sure. Um, I'd say more on the darker side. Yeah, a little bit of vanilla in the background for sure. Yeah, very unique. That's, that's a really cool scent. And then we got Plush, which is cashmere, Tahitian vanilla, cream, softwood, and musk. Softwoods and musk. Ooh, very smooth. Not too punchy. Yeah, that's cool. Definitely more of a subtle sort of like evening kind of scent. That's that. And then we got Everlong, which is also from the spring line. Green apple, Georgia peach, red rose, water lily, white cedar, vetiver, and sandalwood. I was a little bit concerned about the... Uh, the floweriness of this one when I saw the red rose water lily and definitely uh, you definitely get that stuff in there um, I'm sort of my, my kind of main preference for scents my sort of main preference for uh, scents is sort of more like kind of manly like tobacco woodsy that sort of thing so this is I'm gonna try it in beard obviously but so far not not something that I'd ro I'll rock super often definitely more uh, more feminine that I would like but some people uh, I know are into that sort of thing Definitely more of a more of a feminine type scent if you're uh, if you're into that. Not my sort of wheelhouse, but I'm sure somebody will enjoy it. Yeah, and we got the uh, lip balm here, which is uh, s'mores. Yeah, which you definitely do get for sure. Um, I don't use lip balm a ton, but I'll give this a try. I've used the ADC lip, lip balm before, and then with the uh, beard wash, it comes with the cap, and then you can put on the uh, this sort of like kind of big dropper style which you just rotate to open up to actually get it out and then rotate that to close it that's what the label looks like nice blue bottle yeah let's uh wrap up this video already yeah so uh shout out to lee for sending all this stuff for me to check out um stay tuned for another unboxing featuring a new set from uh edc beard coat it's not out as of the time i'm filming this but when you see uh that video it'll be out so as of april um it's a scent that I helped, uh, helped work on and helped come up with the uh, label and the scent profile for. So definitely excited to check that one out. I actually have it here as part of this video. I just didn't show it because it's not, not out yet, whereas the rest of this stuff is out. Um, so definitely subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when that comes out, as well as 
lots of other content and reaction videos, EDC stuff, um, and more. Yeah, thanks again for watching. Let me know down below if you've tried any of these scents and which one's your favorite or what you've tried from EDC Beard Co. I definitely recommend checking them out. Use code Jordan15 to save 15% on the oils, butters, and balms. Yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll be back for more soon. Peace.